Is level 40 with bad equipment weaker than level 1 with the best equipment? Um... I wouldn't know because I would need to, like, look... I... Like, level 1 damage is scaled to a certain am d amount of damage, so... I feel like level 1 and level 40 damage could be the same, possibly. I'm not 100% sure, though. Like, like here, hold on. Here's another thing that I want to point out. Here's another thing that I want to kind of show off to people so that they get a bit, little bit better of an understanding of this game. And just how in-depth they were when they were making level 1. Okay, so, let me put on DP again, right? Let me take off. That, okay, so we're gonna go fight Psyax again, right? Alright, so... If you take a note of what I have equipped right here in my accessories... These are full boom pluses. They give you 5 AP and 3 strength. And the ability uh, MP Haste. Each. MP Haste is neat. It doesn't really do much. In fact... Um, I really just use these guys for the AP for the most part. Now, take a look at my strength stat right here, I guess. Strength stat is this baby right here at the top, 21, right? So I have a strength stat of 21. Um, 6 is added on because of the Keyblade. Or, let me see here. And 3 is added on per uh, Bulbum Plus, right? So 3, 6, 12. So that's 12 plus 6. Is 18, right? Plus the 3 strength that I get for being at level 1 is 21. So my strength stat is a total of 21 right now, okay? So let's go fight Psyx. Let's do a combo on him and see how much damage we do. Alright, so take a note of that. Like, if you want, if you want like a visual cue, the amount of damage that I do is all the way at the end of that last little oval of HP that he has left. Right? It's a good way to, it's a good way to put it. So I'm gonna have him kill me, right? Alright, so now we're going to do another little experiment. So now we're going to take Decisive Pumpkin, put it on again. Same abilities, same everything, but we're going to take off these guys. Alright, so now if we take a look at my strength stat, my strength stat is 9 now instead of 21 because I just took off 12. Strength because of the full moon pluses, right? So now my um, that's like le that's even more than half of my strength gone right there, right? So let's go fight Cyax again. Oh wait, I forgot about Goofy and Donald. Well, I don't think it'll be that big of a difference. I think you guys will get the gist of it, hopefully. Yes. It's right there. Okay. It was a little bit of extra damage because of Donald and Goofy, right? But it's the same damage. <laughs> In fact, if you really, really, really want this uh, experiment to be like accurate, then I'll go ahead and take put Donald and Goofy back on Sora attack, and we can do this again. So let's go do this experiment again, as soon as I put on DP. So once again, 9 strength, 
No full bloom pluses. <clears throat> and yeah, here we go. Do you feel it? The moon's power. The moon shine down. It's the same damage. It is literally the same exact damage with or without the full bloom pluses. So what does that tell us, basically? What does that what does that tell us about like the way that this game like deals damage, right? So like I had a I had a I had a strength stat of uh I had a strength stat of literally nine versus a strength stat of twenty one. And I did the same exact damage, right? What in the world is going on? It's yeah, it's the way the game scales the damage. Um <clears throat> See, the battle- we're in- we're in the Garden of Assemblage, we're in Cavern of Remembrance, right? Um, keep in mind that this is literally, like, considered one- the hardest area in the entire game. This is, like, the post-game area with all of these, like, hardest bosses in the entire game ever. So, the battle level here is, like, the highest that it possibly is. It's, it's level 99. Battle level 99, correct? So... You know, let me let here. Let me let me also go to the world map. So keep that keep that in mind. Keep in mind that Cavern of Remembrance is battle level 99 when you enter it and that it's like really hard and shit, right? So let's go let's go somewhere else. Let's let's take a let's take a look around at the worlds, right? Let's take a look around at the worlds. So, battle level 45 is the normal battle level for Hollow Bastion outside of Cavern of Remembrance, right? So then we got, uh, battle level 35, 36, 39, right? So, like, we have all these different battle levels for worlds, and then we have- and then we go all the way over here to, uh, to the, the world that never was, and it's battle level 50, right? It's like the, the highest out of all of them in the world map. Right? So... What battle level... Like, a lot of people see battle level and they're kind of like... You know, what the hell is that? Um, they put battle level in this game to kind of give you... To kind of suggest to you around what level you should be when you fight... Uh, what, or you should you should be around level like the game is like telling you okay when you hit the world that never was you should be around this level or something like that's the these these enemies that you're fighting are like at a battle level of 50 and you're at like a battle level of 33 so you're like under levels and it's like it's kind of like gives you the sense of like you need to grind so that way you're not going to get destroyed by these guys which is not true at all you can I'm on level one I can you can beat these guys like without that much issue it just like depends on your, your player skill, how good you are at the game. So, like, here's another, here's another interesting thing. Like, remember, remember how much damage that I did to Syax? Like, how, how much, how much damage did I do to Syax? Like, almost an entire bar of damage with my, that combo that I did? Alright, let me, um, fuck, where can I go to show this off? Let me go to, I guess... Um, yeah, let's go here. I guess this is a good spot. So, keep in mind how much damage that I did to Syax, which was like almost an entire bar. Alright, so now I'm gonna fight some normal enemies in this level, like what, 35, 32 uh, battle level area. Alright, so let me just do a combo on these guys. <laughs> Whoa! Look how much damage I just did there. That is a lot less than I did to Syax. What in the hell is going on? Does Syax have less defense than these guys? Is that what's going on? Um, no, it's the scaling. It's the way that the game scales the damage. So, um... Yeah, that's kind of 
you, you're starting, you can kind of like start to, to figure it out the more that you kind of like see how you're fighting these enemies and seeing how much damage you're doing. But the game kind of has this way of scaling your damage so that you don't do, like, can you imagine if that was the sort of damage that I was doing to Saix? Like, when I was, when, if I was doing Data Org, it would take forever. Like, Data Org would take five bajillion years and I'd be doing chip damage for days, but... The game is actually scaling my damage to a certain amount, so that I'm not doing chip damage. So like, hell, I'm, let me, I'm gonna give you guys a, um, I'm gonna give you guys an interesting little visual representation of what's going on, or at least this is kind of how I see it. Um, this is just a guess, this is kind of like a rough look at it. I'm gonna be using, like, a little bit of math and graphs, but they are not accurate in, in any way, right? Alright, so, um, let me pull out, like, uh, let me pull out MS Paint, I guess, alright, Microsoft Paint. <clears throat> let me pull out Microsoft Paint to, uh, to kind of try and describe this. I think Paint.net, maybe? I don't know. I, Microsoft Paint, I could do, I could do the same thing, but, like, I think this will work just fine. So, here. Here's what I'm gonna do. Let me, uh, let me screen region this real quick. Let me get this, let me get everything here out of the way real quick. So, yeah, here, here's, um, here's Microsoft, here's, here's paint.net, I guess, this is just, like, you know, what I'm gonna use to make my little graph, right? Or whatever. <laughs> so, here we go. So, let's, like, draw some lines, make a graph. Alright, so we're just gonna do this, let me get this out of the way over here, let's put this... Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna do that, and then throw this here. So you have an X and a Y axis, right? So, um... This is gonna be, um, what is it? Your, uh... This is, down here, this'll be a representation of, uh, of Sora's level. Right? So, like, let me throw some text in here, I guess. This will be Sora's level. It's not, it's, or, or rather, I, I, I guess this is kind of like the same thing for Sora's strength stat. I guess, let's put it that way. Sora's strength stat. Alright, and then we'll, uh, we'll have some text over here to the side. And this will say, um... Battle level. Right? And then we'll have like okay, let's let's do let's use Cavern of Remembrance, for example, I guess, right? So this will be Cavern of Remembrance. Uh damage outputs. That's kind of what this whole graph will be, and then I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw a line, I guess, and that line is gonna be a representation of the damage output that Sora is doing, right? Okay, so let's go with that. So, so we have the so we have our battle level. So our battle level can be like in increments of like you know, down here will be like. 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, blah, 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 until we get all the way at the very, very, very top, which is, uh, which is Korra's battle level, right? So, let's, um, let's see here. Let me see if I can, let me just kind of, like, make a little dot or something all the way up here. And this will be, uh, this will be 99, all the way here at the very, very top. All right, and then we're gonna uh, kind of like draw a little, little dotted line across the top here. 
Alright, this is kind of what uh, everything is leading up to. It's going up to there, right? So so now we have Sora's like level or Sora's strength stat. You can just kind of like take it as whatever you want. This will so here at the very very bottom we have um, level one, I guess. Like this will this will be like level one, all right? And then someone uh, someone was um, someone was mentioning um, level forty with like bad equipment and stuff. So let's just kind of like put right around level forty here, and then you know as we get closer and closer to battle level ninety nine. I don't know why I'm not using actual text here. In fact, let me just kind of like erase this real or uh, paint over this with white or something like that. Where's the white? Erase the brush width to kind of just. Nah. There we go. Okay, so now let's use some text. This will be 40. Like, that's white because, yeah. That's better. Okay, so now we have a battle level of like 40, okay? So we're gonna, so we'll have a comparison between 1 and 40, and we'll also have a couple other comparisons as we get closer to level 99. So let's say like, I don't know, um, let's say this, this is like maybe 65 or something like that. 65, and then maybe like, uh, if we go, if we keep on going, this will kind of be like, you know, This will be around like 75. And then here at the very, very top, we'll, or at the very, very top here, we'll have kind of like level 99. So I don't know the exact damage output that you do at these levels. This is like I said, just kind of like a guess. There, a Heron probably knows more than I do and probably has a better. Probably, he, he, he might even have a graph for how, how the game kind of, like, scales your damage at certain points. Right? Um, but, like... So, like, core... Yeah, core's battle level is, like, you know, 99 all the way up here. Super high, right? So, I'm gonna guess kind of, like, how much damage you do. So, you're... So, so like, this, this little, uh... Damage output... Like, the damage output, I would say, for, um... For 99, for battle level 99 would be kind of like, for for level 1, I would say is like, um, about here, actually. It's pretty high, because you saw how much damage I was doing to Syax, right? It was, it's pretty high, like, I was doing, like, a whole bar of damage all, all the way at, like, level 1, so it's pretty high up there, like, my, my damage output was pretty, pretty crazy. So now we, um, move on to, like, level 40. Uh, be, okay, so here's, here's the idea. The game is, since the game is kind of like scaling your damage, in a way, the different, okay, 99 is all the way up here. All the way up here. The difference between level 1 and level 40 is like, in the game's mind, nothing. There, you're not even, you're still not even close to level 99. So like, you're still going to be doing the same damage as level 1, right? You're still gonna be doing the same damage. Like this is this is like here. Let me let me also kind of like put another little line right here. All right. Let's let's put a, let's put another line right here. This little this little line. What is this line gonna represent? This line here. This line here represents. Um. Let me let me just color these other guys in a different color. I guess let's like put blue here so that they stand out a little bit more. Maybe a little bit of blue. That's good. So, these, this, 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 uh, this dotted line that I put right here, this is like the minimum damage that the game will allow you to do. This is, this is the minimum, this is the minimum damage that, uh, the game will allow you to do, right? And, um, the, ga the game will not allow you to, like, do chip damage all the way down here, so, like, if you fought Syax and you did like a full combo, you would do like maybe an eighth of a bar, and it would, and then like fighting him would literally take like half an hour, and you would hate the game and it would be stupid. The game's not gonna allow, not gonna allow that, basically, because that just takes way too long. So the game kind of has like this scaling effect on your damage, so that you do a minimum amount of damage to enemies 
based on what the battle level of the area is, basically. That's kind of the general idea. Now, however, level... That's not to say that level does not actually make any difference at all when you're fighting, uh, when you're fighting these guys. As you, can, as you can clearly tell, if you play this, if you fight these guys at level 99, you do way more damage than you do on level one, level 1, right? So once you... So 65, like level 65 right over here, is actually indeed getting higher. It's getting closer to level 99. So it actually is going up a little bit, right? So it's going, it's going like right around, you know, right around here. I'd say it's probably like right around in this ballpark, right? That's the damage output. 75, 75 is even closer to level 99. And like the difference between 65 and 75 at this point is actually getting, if you guys understand math terms, exponentially higher. It's not just this, it's not just like this, you know, straight line where it's just like level 1 to level 40. Level 40 is obviously going to do more damage, and then 65 will do more damage, and then 75. It's not going to go in a straight line like that. It's not going to do that. No, it's going to be exponential. It's going to go all the way up here. That's how much. It's, like, it's crazy, and you might not, like, believe it, but it actually, that is how much damage it is. And then, we get to level 99, and it kind of levels out a little bit. It kind of levels out a little bit, but you definitely do more damage than 75 or 65. So, it is, you know all the way up here, or like, you know, at the same point as level 99, right? So then, so now that we have all of these kind of points of comparison, if we draw the line, if we draw the line out for the damage, it goes like... Ugh, that was bad. I'm really, really bad at drawing with a mouse, sorry. It goes like this. And I kind of like, l and then if you continue on to an infinity, it kind of levels out like that. So, if anybody's seen math before, it's a logarithm. It is an exponential function. That's what the damage does. It's the da the damage is not some sort of people people kind of like see like you know level nine level one and level ninety nine, and they think, oh dude, it's just like it goes straight up, you know? It just goes like that. No, 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 no. It does not go like that. It actually, the game does, is a lot more, uh, complex than that. The damage output, your damage output, like, the damage, the difference between level 1 and level 40 is, like, nothing when you are in an area of battle level 99. Now, there's kind of like this, there's the same, um, there's another, um, there's, we, we figured this out, actually. We figured this out, um, if I can kind of, like, erase all of this stuff. You just kind of like start over or something like that. We can like erase all of this. I'm just yeah. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make a different comparison here, right? I'm gonna make a different comparison. So let's take the world that never was, for example. Okay. So we so we're not gonna use 99 anymore. We're not gonna use 99. This is kind of like whatever. Just gonna you know erase this real quick, kind of blur this out, all right. And there is no you know invisible line anymore. We just I don't know. I want the I want the line. I don't want the brush width to be too black. We just kind of make this nice and pretty again. Okay, cool. So we're still gonna have kind of like the same points of comparison, right? We're gonna have the same points of comparison. Um, but, um, oh, what am I trying to say here? We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have the same points of comparison in this, in Sora's level, but we're gonna use a different, uh, world instead. We're gonna use, uh, let's, we're gonna use the world that never was. Damage output. Alright, and it, actually, I'll put in some specific points in here. So instead of 40... Instead of 40, let me, let me kind of erase this a little bit. Um. Ah, no, no, bad. Wait. Ah, uh, that's good, okay. So, <sighs> hmm. Instead of, uh, instead of 40, we're gonna use, um, we'll use something more along the lines of, like, uh, level 30? 
I'd say. Yeah, level 30. And level uh, 34. This is, this is like a direct historical comparison that me and Riz like figured out about the world and ever this is kind of like how we figured out how the scaling works it's crazy so level 30 and level 34 there's a difference in strength right there's a difference in strength um because you get a strength increase like level level 30 you get another strength increase and your strength increases by two and then level you hit level 34 and then you get another strength increase and that was in increase the strength by two right okay so um what am I fucking doing? Um, so the battle level, right? So the battle level is not exactly 99 with the world that never was. Obviously, it's like a it's like a battle level of like 50 or so. So it's like down here in the middle. Let's say this is like this is like 50. All right. So this is the world that never was is battle level, and so we're gonna have that same dotted line, for the most part, right? That same dotted line. <clears throat> of comparison. And so we're at level 1. So as we learned earlier with the core, you do like a, a minimum amount of, amount of damage, right? But your minimum amount of damage is not the same height as the as it was with core. Because as we clearly like show as we clearly showed in Land of Dragons when we were comboing that guy, the damage output that we were doing there was way lower than it was with um with Syax. It was much lower. So your battle, your damage output was like, I don't know, up here or something like that in the core. In the world that never was, it's level 50, so it's more along the lines of like this or so. It's more along the lines of this. That's our minimum damage output right here. So I guess like, in, I'll put in text, this is like min. This is minimum damage output. Why use Sora's level as a proxy for strength strat? Why not you directly use strength stat since it would give a more accurate data set? Alright, so, moving on. Sorry, I had to kind of eh, make an explanation. So, let's keep going. So, that's our minimum, right? It's lower than core, because cores was, like, super high, so you had to accommodate by having a higher minimum damage output. But since this is lower, you can have a slightly lower uh, minimum damage output, right? Because if it was, if your minimum was like all the way up here and you were doing the same damage output as you were in the core, you'd be shredding through bosses like nothing. So, so like once again, we'll use, um, we'll use red this time, I guess. We'll fucking use red. I don't give a shit. So we'll use, shit, that's not what I wanted to do. Undo. Or redo, rather. Redo, let me go back to black. Or not. I guess men will be red. <laughs> it's funny. All right, whatever. I'll just deal with that. So level one, like I said, level one is the minimum. Is level one's our starting point. So the minimum will be like right down here. So level 30 actually is pretty, you know, the difference between level one and level 30 in comparison to 50 is actually, you know, it is it is better than like the comparison between 40 and 99 or something like that. So 30, level 30 will actually be like a tad bit higher, but not by much. It'll be like up here. Like, the level 1 strat for Roxas compared to the level uh, 33 strat on crit, they're almost the same. You do, like, one extra combo on level 1. But it's very, very close, like, the damage output between these two because of the way that the game scales the damage. And if we hit... What, uh, what Riz found out, amazingly enough, is that... Um, um, I mean, hold on. I guess maybe it's a little bit lower than that. I mean, for the graph's sake, I'll just kind of like, let me erase this real quick, or just do that. 
make it red again. So it's it's more it's more like right above the uh, the minimum, 30. It's still a little bit higher, but not by much. Hmm. So 34, um, <clears throat> what Riz, Riz discovered, uh, see, the way that he was routing out his beginner mode route is that he wanted to hit 34 by the time he hit the, the world that never was. Because, naturally, you get a higher, you get a higher strength set, so you gotta do more damage when you're level 34. Uh, big surprise, Riz found out that if you're level 33, and you go through the world that never was, you do the same exact fucking damage everywhere. And I tested this on crit, actually. If I go to, if I uh, was, um, since, you know, level 30 was the last strength increase that I got, if I hit level 34 and then went into the world that never was, I did the same exact fucking damage. There was no difference. It was the same exact damage, so it wasn't any faster to be level 34 as in compared to level 30. So this is actually equal to level 34. I mean, in all honesty, 34 is probably, like, way closer. Like, this is this graph is probably not, like, the best representation. It's close. Let me, let me erase it a little bit so that it makes a little bit more sense visually. Let me just... Let me just kind of... Let me just kind of... Let me, let me uh, round that out a little bit more. So, 34 is actually probably, like, right here. I'll just make this like a little, a little real small and make the text maybe a little bit smaller too. 34. Hopefully you guys can read that because I can barely read that. So this is 34. And then we'll go back to red. So 34 actually is the same damage as 30 because of the way that the game scales damage. The difference between level 30 and 34 in the eyes of the battle level 50, is like nothing. It's just, there's no difference, right? But, um, the, as we kind of, like, noticed before, the, the closer that you get to a battle level, the closer that you get to the area's battle level, or your strength stat gets that close to the battle level, um, the higher, the higher damage output is. So, like, let's, like, I don't know, have a comparison point right around uh, here, I guess. And this would be 50. And this is... make that 12 again. So this would be 50. And... 50 would be, like, all the way up here, right? And yeah, the, the, effect, the effect of your, uh, your damage being, like, you know, really, really, uh... Like, once, once you start getting strength increases around the level battle, uh, around the battle level 50, it just kind of, like, it's, it's just, like, a lot. Like, a lot, a lot, a lot, really, really fast. So, like, so from 50 to 65, 65 is pretty close. So, it's kind of, like, along the same lines, like, all the way up here. Like, you are doing a lot of damage all the way up here. And then... The farther away that you get to level 50, it's kind of like everything's the same. Like, you're doing so much damage that it's not really, you know, it's not really noticeable. So, at, uh, at this area, all the way up here, it kind of, like, rounds off a little bit. So, 65 to 75, it's not that much. And then we hit, to like, level 99, and it's really not that much different than, like, level 75. It's just a little, a little bit different. I mean, you're, you're able to, like, at this point here, at level 75, you're, like, able to one-shot enemies and shit. But it kind of, like, levels out. So, it's kind of the same graph as Core. But the thing with Core is that it was all the way the max... It was at the ceiling. That was the max battle level. So, once you hit 99, it would finally match up with the damage output that they were kind of, like, expecting you to be able to do there. Okay. Thank you. So here, we'll draw, like, another little line 
of comparison for the uh, for this bait bad boy. So it's kind of like that, and then it levels out like that. Bam. It's kind of what it looks like. Like I said, I'm not the best artist, but that's kind of the idea. Is that it, it increases exponentially and then it tapers off right there. So that's, uh... I'm not the best at math. I might be, like, a little off here and there. But I do know that, like... That the dam the dam the way that the game scales your damage is totally based on Sora's strength stat. I mean, like, the, re the, re the reason that it's, like, you know, Sora's level is probably, like, not the same. It's, re it's really not. Like, if you, uh, if you use strength incre strength boosts on uh, a level 1 file, and you got to, like, uh, strength stat of, like, 40 or something like that, you would basically be, you know, around here, actually, even though you were level 1. So... It's kind of... That's why we don't really allow stat boosts, because even though you are level 1, your damage output could be, could be like somewhere like all the way up here if you used enough stat boosts. So, yeah. Basically. <clears throat> so this is, this is kind of your... Um, how about Sora's defense stats? I was literally about to, to show you guys the difference. And it's actually a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna use Luxord as that example, but um, if I remember this, if I remember to highlight this after I'm done streaming, then um, this is th I'll I'll kind of like use this as a visual representation of yeah. <laughs> I'll I'll throw this on maybe YouTube somewhere so that people can use it. So hope you guys hope you guys enjoy the visual representation and the math lesson but that's really how the game scales your damage <clears throat> 